I thought we were okay. I thought we were friends. There is nothing to it. I'm just saying that. You can be condescending sometimes. I you feel, feel like... Yes. You, yes. I feel like that. And sometimes I feel like you just personality clash. I feel like it's just, just too fake for me. That's how I feel. At least come with me with some factual shit. <laughs> Okay, quick question. How many of you have noticed that in Biggie's house, there's some crazy mind fuckery games going on among some of the housemates? Lord, the way some of those housemates are playing psychological games. Hey, I'm scared. I am scared. I've seen people being manipulative. I've seen people do weird shit just to win the prize on this Big Brother platform. But you see the season of Bibi in Zamzi, Omo, the mind games is on another level. Even me, I, I cannot deal. Like guys, I cannot deal. But you're welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gloria Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the tea. And the tea of this video is all about the so-called reconciliation conversation that Nale had with Mpo. Now, on one of my recent videos, I had mentioned that Nale had gone to consult Venice whilst they were in the kitchen last night on how to go about um, the business, of course, because it's a business, yes, but the business of reconciling or confronting peacefully a fellow housemate whom she feels is not on good terms with her. Now, Nale had been very, very careful not to name names. She had been very careful not to even go into details of what she was talking about. All she had done was to mention to Venice that she was feeling some weird kind of vibe or energy from a particular housemate and she did not like the feeling. So she wanted to talk to the housemate about it and see if she had offended the housemate in any way so that they can get back, you know, on being on good terms again. So Venice had gone ahead to advise her on how to start off the conversation practically, yes, practically giving her sample sentences, you know, preambles on how to start of the conversation and that also advised her to have that conversation with that housemate last night but sadly um Mpo had actually refused of course we're talking about Mpo yes so Mpo had actually refused like she did not want to have that conversation with Nali as she had opened up about it to Norman so they finally had their conversation today and of course Nali had opened up to Mpo telling her that look she had been feeling some weird kind of vibe as though they were both you know um avoiding each other or ignoring each other in the house or not even acknowledging each other's presence or existence in the house I thought we were okay I thought we were friends so obviously whatever's happening is happening on your end and i'm trying to understand why but you still can't tell me and i had gone ahead to open up some very very shocking perceptions about nali there is nothing to it i'm just saying that you can be condescending sometimes i feel, feel like yes you yes i feel like that and sometimes i feel like you just personality clash i feel like it's just, just too fake for me interesting so according to Mpo. Nale comes across to her as being very, very condescending, being very fake, <laughs> being very fake. And uh, what was that other thing that she talked about? Oh yeah, she mentioned that she feels like Nale does not like her. Nale kept on asking Mpo over and over again that, okay, can you give me a scenario? Like paint some visuals, give me some visuals of what exactly I have done to you to make you feel that way about me. If I am making you feel that way, then there must be something I have certainly done over time, consciously or unconsciously, you know? So please name some scenarios so that I can apologize for it. But Mpo kept on dabbling and beating around the bush and going around and around. I kept on insisting that, oh, that is the energy she feels from Nale, that she feels like, mm, Nale is very, very content. And Nale was like, okay, is there any time that I have said something to you directly or indirectly or maybe referred to you in a certain kind of way that makes you feel uncomfortable around me. Just give me a scenario. But Mpo kept on avoiding the question because, of course, guys, there's no such thing. Now, for those of you who are wondering why they are even having this conversation in the first place, I'll refresh your mind about it. Now, if you cast your mind back to the first week when the housemates lost their first weekly wager task, there had been an almost altercation in the lounge where Nale, Terry, and Mpo 
I think Sister Mara was also included in that little conversation, had agreed to have a conversation and address the rest of the housemates, especially Dinky, you know, with regards to her attitude towards Mpo. Because after the wager task, Nali, Mpo, Sister Mara and Terry, they were upstairs and they were having conversations and they were just talking about how some people did not stick to the script of the task. And then Mpo out of nowhere had brought her own personal grievance that she has with Dinky, saying that, oh, she feels like Dinky does not like her, that she made, a, uh, she prepared food and Dinky did not eat her food, that is it that Dinky is scared of her at being a Sangoma. You know, she was just personalizing the entire conversation. And at that point in time, I don't know how many of you remember that Akeja, Dinky, no, sorry, Akeja, Nale, and Dumpo, they were very good friends in that first week, especially when they were during the get to know yourselves exercise. They had introduced themselves to one another and they had agreed to be friends. So, Nale, being an alpha female and being some kind of peacemaker in the house and peace lover, she felt bad that Mpo was being marginalized in court. Yeah, and so she asked him, but you know what? Since you're feeling this way, let's address it once and for all. Let's talk about it. And that was what they did. They all agreed that we're going to call a meeting and talk about it. So by the time they got downstairs, guys, it will shock you to know that Terry and Mpo had automatically disappeared. And so that left um, Nali hanging. So she did not even know what to say. But she just had to start off the conversation by, oh, um, hi, Dinky. So is there anything you have to say? Is there anybody that has offended you? Blah, 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 blah. And that really, really triggered Dinky. Dinky was very, very upset. And Dinky fled up because she felt like if anybody had any issues with her in the house, that person should have been bold enough and considerate enough to come to her head on and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation other than calling a family meeting just to address personal grievances. So just as expected. So Dinky was very upset because the whole setup, it came across like a setup, of course. And it also came across like a small coup, you know, to make her feel very, very small, to kind of villainize her and victimize um, Mpo Abadimo. And even though Nale was trying to be very polite and calm, Dinky was not even having it at all. And it was later that Mpo decided to want to chip in, oh, this is how I feel, this is the energy I'm getting, blah, 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 blah. So the way she came across, it made it look as though that she and Mpo Mpo and Terry never ever had a conversation. So Terry felt really bad because aside that, right after the meeting was over, Mpo had gone ahead to go and apologize to Dinky and make peace with Dinky and that completely made Nale look bad. She did not even go ahead to explain to um, Dinky immediately that, oh, we actually had a meeting. Um, Nale has no issues with you she was only trying to be the mediator so instead she went ahead and mended her own fences with dinky and that really completely true of terry and nali so later on they had conversations and they made peace but then nali ensured to let mpo know that listen this thing you did you threw me under the bus i was trying to make out peace for you but i felt like you threw me under the bus to become friends with someone else and guys that was exactly what happened because after that day, Dinky and Mpo, they became best of friends. So of course, Nale learned a lesson because she too also realized that, okay, this is a competition after all, and everybody will do whatever it takes to play out their strategy and even use you that, that call yourself their friend to play their strategy. And so she decided to just stay on her own lane and Mpo as well decided to be friends with whoever she wanted to be friends with. So she became very, very close friends with um, Libo, with um, sometimes Acacia, but very much with Dinky, sometimes with Temba. You know, she just completely cut off all ties with um, Nale and Nale as well decided to stay on her own lane too and be friends with every other person in the house. But once in a while when they see each other, hey, hey, hi, 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 they greet each other and pass. But then it's like becoming extremely toxic because you and I can confirm that all through last week, guys. I mean, last week, that was just the second week. Mpo spent the bulk of her time with Libo and Norman gossiping about Nale. Talking about how much she does not even want to be around Nale. Talking about how much she does not even like the fact that she is sleeping in the same room with Nale. So that is why they were having this conversation. And the funny thing is, 
Mpo never wanted to have this conversation with Nale, but Nale had to push for it and ensure that Mpo felt up to it to have this conversation because she wanted Mpo to, you know, free her mind, come clean, you know, come out in the open with whatever her grievances is with her directly. And so guys, I love the fact that Nale kept on telling her that, listen, come correct. If you say I did something to you, go ahead and say it out stop beating around the bush but guys <laughs> Mpo just kept on going on and on about oh you come across as condescending blah 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 but anyways the end of the matter is Nali told Mpo that listen I actually do like you I do not hate you I do not dislike you I do like you we do not have to be friends but at least let's not make this environment toxic for one another and Mpo said the same thing they agreed and and their own ultimate conclusion is whenever we find ourselves in the conversation, we talk. If we do not find ourselves in the conversation, we do not have to force it. We do not have to force a gravitation towards one another's energy. The best thing to do is for us to be able to understand each other, okay? And the best way for me moving forward, okay, in order to not step no, on your toes. No, because to I don't want to feel like I'm walking around thin ice with you. Now, my own opinion about this conversation, guys, for me... I feel like Nali did the right thing, yes. And it was just very obvious that Upo has no case against Nali. She offended Nali. She felt guilty. She knew that she had messed up. And so she decided to go and lick her wounds with some other clique. And then she started, out of bitterness and pettiness, started spreading wild tales of lies against Nali. But you see, at the end of the day, these housemates do not realize that they are not the only ones playing the games. Us, the viewing audience too, we are also watching and we are also playing our games. Yes, we are playing a game of choosing. We see a character that is doing XYZ, whether negative or positive, if we are drawn to that character, we would definitely vote for that character. So, Mio, my only interest in this their conversation is I want to see if it's genuine or not. I want to see if Mpo is going to continue with her gossips about Nali. I want to see if in tonight's live eviction show, if Mpo is going to nominate um, Nali. I don't know your expectations, guys, so just go ahead, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys on another video soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.